going on guys and welcome back to some more earthbound in the last part we uh did all we could in tucson figured out paul is missing and we figured out she's in peach she's in happy happy village which is across game across the peaceful rift valley this part we're gonna go into peace so i'm thinking about catching a bus at three i heard there goes long way i hope the bus will have to turn around and come back people happy happy village but i have a strange religion maybe they'll get some sort of back to you be careful and this guy if you go to the east, you'll run into trouble. He's trying to find out how many other waiting for you. I'm not sure there are UFOs in the last valley. I guess the girl named Paula was kidnapped. We'll help out another Pulsar preschool. Anyway, so, um, we're going to be friends right now. Uh, we're going to have a significant advantage that I didn't even have in the failed take because, uh, I just figured out you can get the copper bracelet in Berlin Park, and I never knew that prior to the last part. So, uh,. We're gonna have a significant advantage because we're gonna have more defense, but um first of all I need to uh I need to uh heal. But yeah, we're gonna have a very significant advantage because um well, let's just say um we're gonna have more defense, but uh we're not we lost two of our cold remedies. Uh we only have two of them, but um it doesn't matter. If you get the status condition, PSI healing alpha will get rid of it. But uh, anyway, these are new enemies. Well, to one of the most annoying enemies in Earthbound in this part of the game. This is the uh, Mobile Sprout. They can lower your they can lower your PP because they know PSI magnet, and, and um, they can attack you doing pretty decent damage. Um, and uh, yeah, they're annoying enemies. They also do some seeds and uh, that basically is the equivalent of calling for help. Yeah, they're pretty annoying enemies. The pretty much all the enemies as part of the game are pretty annoying enemies. We get 266 XP from the battle. How close would how close would we be to a level up? Okay, 1200 XP. So we're doing, we have a while from a level up. Anyway, so um. We have to go to peace. We're at peaceful life. I'm gonna talk to this woman. Hum dee dum dum dum. I'm learning from mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. And this guy. I'm not an enemy. I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know how to survive battles? You may have noticed that when you've been badly hurt in battle, you may survive a mortal day and I can still have one HP. If this has happened, it would be because of your guts. You'll survive me depending on your guts level. So, more guts helps you get more smashing hits. Beyond guts, you should have noticed that it takes some time. For damage to be taken from you, is because of the rolling action of your HP team. Oops, I mean your life. If an enemy deals mortal damage to you, but you defeat all enemies before your life is gone, then you survive. That's all I know. Now, interesting thing about Peaceful Rest Valley, this is also another pop culture reference. In the Japanese version, this was called Grateful Dead Valley, but they obviously had to change this for legal reasons. Now, uh, this is the mo I'm gonna take out the mobile sprout first. But uh, anyway, these are these are more new enemies. Um, yeah, these things. Uh, I don't want to use uh, PSI Mario, but um, they can fire beam. But they also give you a status condition, which we're gonna see in a little bit. And it's another reason I recommend buying the cold remedies. But they're not gonna show us the status condition. But anyway, we're gonna lose our PP. Oh fuck! I don't want to miss. Okay, we need to heal. Yeah, I knew they were gonna go first. And, uh, yeah, mobile sprouts can also heal, which can make them even more. Thank god they got combo with the smash attack. Wow, they're, they're not... I believe, like, in, if this were any other type of food, they would have tried to hit, like, a status condition by now. But the little UFO is another thing they're annoying, is that they are very dodgy. They can... Dodge your attacks a lot of the time. Now, uh, this is why I recommend getting the cold remedy is that, uh, well, we can use PSI Alpha, but like, you need to save as many PP as possible in this area because, uh, yeah, this area is brutal. There's a lot of enemies, there's a there's a lot of enemies that can give you the status condition, but like, um, no problem here, but, uh, yeah, this is the thing blocking away, but, um, there's enemies that can give you a status condition, and if you have, if you buy cold remedies, they can heal your cold condition without having to use PP, so that's why I recommend buying those. However, we have to go back to Tucson to see what uh, we can get out of Apple Kid because uh, 
Let's use PSI Mario and instantly ended the battle. Uh, there are more there. I don't want to fight more of those. I might even die. Because I can't heal. Maybe I shouldn't have used PSI Mario, but uh we have to see what's up with Apple Kid. Yay, enemy manipulation. But um we have to see So we have to see what's up with uh Apple Kid because we can't go past that strange looking pencil. Oh, this is good. Let's just finish working on this great adventure. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon, Slam. I don't want to fight these enemies. I don't want to fight these enemies. I want the butterfly. I want the butterfly. I want the butterfly. Yes! Get the butterfly, and I can heal. I'm going to go to the hotel anyway, but, um... Now, those mushroom enemies we saw earlier, but they are capable of inflicting a status condition, which we surprisingly have not seen yet. Uh, we're going to go to Apple Kid, except he's in, um, if we talk to this guy, we look at that so-called genius Apple Kid. As a true genius, he's in Brooklyn Park looking for you. Yeah, Apple Kid is essentially going to be a, an essential character for this game. Not so much Orange Kid, so I don't know what Tucson, the, the folks of Tucson were hyping about him. He doesn't play as much a role as Apple Kid. So, life lesson go to Apple Kid, don't go to Orange Kid. Like apples versus oranges. I'm really happy because I'm working all night, but I've, finally the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate it, all pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a stop sells pencils. Here it is right now. We get the pencil eraser. If I invent some. Other brilliant animals call you. Now, uh, we're gonna heal also. Um, I'm gonna hope that two cold remedies is enough to get out of Peaceful Rest Valley because, um, we only really saw the beginning of Peaceful Rest Valley, but, uh, I'm gonna heal really quickly, so I'll see you guys in a second. Want my damn money back! Give me my damn money back! He's just gonna say the same thing over and over again. Yeah. So that's only a one-time thing. I tried that a second time, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you can't really do that twice. We're 300 XP away from a level up, but, um, yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go to the, uh, Dia. I don't know why I didn't use this earlier, but, uh, we are going to, um, go back to the Tucson Department Store. Get us also a teddy bear. I didn't show off the teddy bear, but uh, it's gonna cost a little bit of money. So we're gonna take a little bit of money out. Let's take out $150. You have to kind of strategize also what you're gonna take out of this APM because like one, what items you really need at this point in the game. And also like um, dying at any point makes you lose half your money. So don't just go all or nothing because you could die and just lose all that. For our, we are going to buy a teddy bear, though. You can buy some multiple teddy bears, and they act, even though they won't show it in the NPC, they can also act like multiple teddy bears, so that's also a way you can get an easily get out of Peaceful Rest Valley. Anyway, we have basically a shield. Teddy, bear can act like, teddy bears can act like a shield, however, if you you have a teddy bear, you can't get on the bicycle. We, we're only gonna get- we're, we're gonna get the most limited use out of, out of, like, um... That is actually legit one problem I have with Earthbound, is, um... There are limited ways you can go faster. Cause, like, um, you can use skip sandwiches, you can take the bus at various points, but, like... You know, very- for the first, like, half of the game, you don't get many options in terms of, like, going faster, so, like, um... Even though it's a, a, there's a lot of great music, and there's like, um, there's a, not many ways you can go faster, so, um... Oh, screw you! Anyway, this is, uh, Shremise. Now, uh, they can, you have chances of hitting yourself, like that, like that. I am going to have to run away. I don't want to lose the teddy bear I just bought. Yeah, you can run out of battle. Depends on how desperate you are. Now, Shrima, this is what Shrima is like. Um, we're initially going to walk okay. However, we're going to lose our balance. Basically, uh, 
Unfortunately, I also have to show this off. I didn't show this off. I didn't get traumatized a single time with failed recording, but like, um, you want you to us? Uh, yeah. The controls, I'm not controlling this. Like, the controls are legit backwards when you get shroomized. And uh, it's also annoying because we have to also take out more money so we can go to the hospital and get it healed. We're just gonna go to the department store, take out some more money, and then, um, because you have to. Healing Alpha will not work on shroomization. There are later healing and that can work on shroomization. There are better ways, but like, uh, we unfortunately at this point in the game have limited options in terms of like um, getting healed of like shroom status. Um, I think shroom status is legit one of the most annoying ones in the game. There are more annoying ones later, but like um, yeah, it causes you to accidentally attack yourself and what shields you buy like teddy bears. And on top of that, you uh, basically Every now and then the controls are backwards and you have to go to the two you have to go to the hospital to basically get rid of status. Not go out of the hospital because the controls are backwards. You may not believe it, I'm a healer. If I have some notes, the computer can go out. It's they cannot be treated at the hospital. My job here, you have not notice. You saw that muffin around the top of your head? Oh, you need to um Oh, it sells you right. You don't need money. Yeah. Shroomization. Um, I'm going to make a second attempt to get to Peaceful Rest Valley. Not get into an enemy fight. I'm going to be so sad if I lose this teddy bear and I don't like... I know I sound like I'm five years old, but I'm going to be so fat, sad if I lose this teddy bear and I don't even make it to Peaceful Rest Valley. Because, like, I bought this for the person who is of getting out of Peaceful Rest Valley. Because, like... If you go to Peace of the West Valley unprepared, it can very much catch you off guard. I'd say Peace of the West Valley is the last of the really hard parts of this game, among the last. There's gonna be... There's another part later on that I'd say is my least favorite part of the whole game, but like, um... Once you get to Tucson, I'd say the worst of the game... Once you get more party members, I'd say the worst of your the game is behind you. Yeah, I have to get an enemy fight. Once you get more party members, like the one we're gonna, like we're, what we're gonna save, because spoiler alert, Paula did, does become a team member. And yeah. Um, I just, bear. I bought that for the purpose of getting out of Peaceful Rest Valley, so I wouldn't get the status condition. I think it's the magic jack also, that's the worst part. This is now level 14. Offense went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by two. Max HP went up by five. And we realized we have a paralysis alpha, which uh, can also help from, which can also help for getting out of this area, for not getting out of this area, no, for the uh, boss. Anyway, so uh, we're in peaceful rest valley. Anyway, so we're in Peaceful Rest Valley, so uh, the erase that we got from Applegate, well, I need to heal first. We're gonna, well, the eraser machine that we got from Applegate, I don't know. Why is it going to avoid a fight? Yeah, get rid of the Apple machine? Come on, no. Get out of this. Alright. We don't, that, that saves us a battle. Sometimes you want to grind out enemies, sometimes you don't. This is one of the instances you don't. There isn't, there was a new enemy up there, but like, uh, at the same time, um, can't really, um, what am I trying to say? We couldn't, no, we couldn't get to him. Anyway, we have a travel charm, so I'm just going to drop that. That's basically if you didn't get the travel charm from earlier and on it. Anyway, so new enemy. Um, these are more annoying enemies. This is the spinning robo. They can put up shield alpha and they can make you catch a cold and overall they're just annoying enemies. Like, I don't even get a hit before they just go with the shield alpha. If you get cold, a cold in battle, even though you take damage, I'd recommend not using one of your cold remedies until you're out of the battle, because, uh... Or use PSI decks, because, like, they can just do it again. That's another reason I don't use this game's auto-fight feature. I only use it when I'm in a desperate situation, I need the text to scroll by faster. Yeah. Like that. 
You know what? I'm actually gonna use uh my PP. I'm gonna use PP because I'm gonna save the cold remedies. Anyway, so uh these guys right here. Welcome to the Territorial Oaks. Now uh these guys, um, they're interesting enemies because they're the first enemies that can explode into bits. I mean, if there are multiple enemies on the screen, exploding the bits will cause mortal damage. So, if any enemy that gets mortal that caught, does that, that explodes the bits, you want to take them out last. Now, these are also, uh, oaks, also. They have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping the PSI caramel. However, if you're doing a 1 in 128 challenge, I'd recommend just wait till, you're, go, till you have more party members and you're overall stronger to, uh, really get out of this area and really to go back to this area later and just grind out the uh one train item or just be really lucky but anyway they can also use brain shock which can also confuse you and they also lower your gut offense there are annoying enemies pretty much there's no good enemy in this area at the heal no. Yeah, I have to heal again. Yeah, this is what you really want to use your PP for in this area. You want the cold remedies to get rid of the status. Yeah, they burst into flames and they cause mortal damage, um, but you should survive that if you take it out last. We didn't get the PSI caramel, though. Anyway, so we should use it. Let's get the butterfly. The butterfly can save your ass in this area. It saved my ass in the first take of this area. I'd be really sad if I bought all those cold remedies, like, and I didn't really like uh, how to use a single one of them. I mean, maybe not for inventory of oh, fun. And guess what? They inflicted status, which means I have to use one of my cold remedies. We're gonna use our cold remedies now. If you don't have any cold remedies and you're out of PP. You will just, if you don't find one of the magic butterflies, you'll just die a slow and painful death. Because, like, um, basically moving, like, will cause damage. It's like getting poisoned in the Pokemon games. Now, uh, I want to go up to the top left because, um, basically there's an item we can get. A really good item at that. There's a hard hat, which will replace, which will largely replace the Mr. Baseball cap because it'll raise our defense from 23 to 32, which we're going to need that to go out the rest of this area. We're almost out of this area anyway. Now, um, I don't want to. Okay, we didn't get first attack. And we didn't get, um, we didn't get status inflicted. No, 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 no. All right, we're out of here. We're out of Peaceful Rust Valley. Anyway, so, um, didn't get a, those are just quarrels things in front of me in the game, but, um, welcome to Happy Happy Village. Next time on Earthbound. We're going to see what the fuss is all about about Happy Happy Village. We'll see you guys next time.